Today, we're gonna to be cutting out a person and putting them on a new background in Photoshop. Now, if you've ever used select subject, you know that sometimes it doesn't do the best job. So today, we're gonna to show you how to refine that selection and make it perfect. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we are selecting our subject and they're refining that edge using a few different fantastic techniques. We'll show you how to continuously refine it until it's perfect and even how to get rid of red color fringing in hair. So anytime you cut your subject out, if the, a little bit of the background shows through in terms of like a different color, we're gonna show you how to fix that as well. All right, let's jump in. So here's our image for today, it's looking really good. Now couple of options you can choose. You can go right up here to select subject. Boom. It's going to select your subject and then you can click here on your background layer and then click here on your layer mask and it's going to cut them out. Now the quicker way to do that, let's just hit undo. You can actually go to this new remove background tool. It literally just does exactly what I said. Uh, it selects your subject and puts a layer mask on there. It's just one button now. Pretty cool. Okay, now what we wanna do is just create a new background underneath our subject. So let's go here down to the new layer icon. Let's click and drag this under our subject. Okay, now I just need to select my entire background because if you're gonna use AI like generative fill, you have to make a selection first. So let's go up here to where it says select and then we're gonna to go to all, select all. Boom, it literally just selects my entire image. It's gonna be behind my subject. There we go. Let's go to generative fill and we're gonna type in concrete wall and hit enter. So I just want a simple concrete wall behind our subject and let's see what we get. There we go, here's our options and clicking through them, yeah, this one looks totally good. I'm, I'm happy with that, we're ready to go. Okay, so now we can kind of analyze some of the things that we need to work on. The first thing and the most obvious thing that I'm seeing here is look at all this red color here that is like left over from the original image. If I go to the original image and click on the layer mask and hold shift and click on the mask, you can see there's the original image. It like just disables your layer mask temporarily, right? So here's the after and here's the before. So you can see it's carrying a lot of that red color from this original image into the hair. Okay, that's the first thing I'm noticing. Next thing I'm seeing is that this edge for our subject sweater is a little bit too hard, right? It, this is like a fleece. It should be a soft edge. So we don't, we don't want an edge that hard. We need to fix that too. And then I'm also seeing right over here a little bit of red in kind of like the edges of this area here. So we've got a few things to fix. So we're gonna start off by making this edge just a little bit softer. It's actually really easy to do. Just go to your layer mask. We're gonna go to select and then down here to select and mask. There we go, select and mask. Now with the select mask dialog here, over here on the right hand side, just make sure you scroll down a little bit. Boop, we're gonna go to where it says global refinements. Open that up and then I'm just gonna bring up feathering, okay? We don't need to do that a ton, just a little bit of feathering is gonna make our edge nice and soft. Now over here, you can see it's gonna like show a little bit more of that red. You can use this shift edge to shift it in or out. There we go, which should like basically fix your edge issues. But if I go way in, it starts to not look that great, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I got rid of the edge, the red, but it doesn't really look that good anymore. So. Like oftentimes I'll just kind of like leave this alone or even shift the edge out a little bit and the selection tends to look a little bit better, but you're gonna be bringing in some of that background. Not to worry, we're gonna show you how to fix it, okay? Now, the next thing we wanna do is right under here with her, uh, like under her chin, there's some of the background and some of her hair. We're gonna use this refine edge brush here. Let's make our brush a little bit smaller and then we're just gonna paint right over here Okay, to see if that can like remove that selection. Okay, it's not doing exactly what we want with this refine edge. It's getting a little bit confused. That's okay, we can do that manually. But what we have done is kind of taken care of this edge. So that's a pretty good start. Let's go ahead and hit okay right over here. And now we're gonna continue moving forward. So before we tackle this like issue with the color here where it brought in a little bit of the red, I actually wanna like make the hair selection a little bit better. I wanna bring back a little bit more hair for my original photo. So here's how we do it. Just hold on shift and click on the layer mask for your photograph, okay? Then what we're gonna do is click on your layer here. We're gonna go to select and then down to where it says color range, select color range. And then you simply select on your subject's hair, right? Like there are different areas you click on, 
is going to select different areas. Here, where it says selection preview, it might say none for you, okay? And then you only see your selection preview in this window. I like to go where it says selection preview and put it on grayscale. That way I can click on my image and see what's selected. The lighter areas get selected, the darker areas will not be selected. That's kind of how it works. Okay, your fuzziness, just bring that all the way up to 100. Like you can see if it's less, you're not going to select as much. If it's more, you're going to select more. Okay, you can even go to this plus eyedropper here and you can add a couple like layer areas to your selection if you want to select even more. All right, let's hit okay there. Fantastic. So you can see it's basically just selected the black hair of our subject. So let's go ahead and click on our layer mask now. What we're going to do is we're going to use our brush tool, B for the brush tool, okay? And then we're just going to paint white on our layer mask to show more hair, okay? So we did a pretty good job with like the remove background that we did originally. Like, yes, it did remove the background, but I want to show more of our subject's hair. So we selected it. Now I'm going to paint it visible on the layer mask. Okay, now here's the next great tip here. Like, you see all those little marching ants, they're like telling us we have a selection, Okay, those black and white little moving areas. That's basically just the edge of the selection. But when I'm painting in, oftentimes that's pretty distracting, right? So we want to get rid of that. We're going to hit Control or Command and hit H to hide. Okay, if this is the first time you do this, it's going to say hide Photoshop or hide extras. Click on hide extras. Okay, you can hit Control or Command H at any time to hide or show your selection. But what's really nice is if with it to hidden, it's still active. I just don't see the little outline there. And now I can work a little bit better. Okay, so I'm on my layer mask. I've got white as my foreground color. And like literally, I'm just going to paint in more hair. You can see as I'm doing this, right? Like, look at this. I'm literally painting in more hair because I selected the hair. There we go. Look at this. All this beautiful detail here. Don't worry about the red. That's not a big deal. We'll take care of that in a second. But look at all this detail we're able to get back from selecting the color range of our subject's hair. Fantastic. Look at this. All right. I really, really like this. Okay. Now, let's see if I can remove some of this red. We're going to go to select, and now I'm going to go to, down to where it says inverse. There we go. And I'm going to paint with black now to try to remove some of that red from there. Okay. So I've literally inversed my selection so instead of selecting black, it selects the rest. Okay, there we go. We'll just paint it right over there. Fantastic. So that's just going to help me remove some of that red background there. All right, let's hit Control or Command D to deselect. So you can see our subject's hair selection looks so much better than it did. We're actually like selecting more hair, which is perfect. It's what we want. So what we need to do now is get rid of this red color. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to use a technique with a clipping mask. Now, a clipping mask is basically a layer that you put on top of another layer that then becomes visible only where the bottom layer is visible. Okay, we're going to show you how to do it. But basically what we're going to do is I'm not going to try to mask out this red. What we're going to do is I'm going to convert this red into black. It's really cool. So here's how we do this. We're just going to go to our layer panel. We just need a new layer. So just go right down here, create a new layer. Okay, very, very simple. And what we're going to do is hit B for the brush tool. B for the brush tool, or you can click on your brush. Then we're going to hold Alt or Option, and that's going to bring up our eyedropper. And let's just go ahead and sample a color here in our hair. Okay, and then we're just going to start painting like this, just like this. Okay, just for our, the start of our example. Fantastic. So you can see I just sampled the color of our subject's hair. And now I'm painting in a big, like, you know, blob of it. Okay. The cool thing now is I can change the blending mode of this layer. Right now, this layer is set to normal blending mode. Okay. But let's just double click on this layer here. Fantastic. And bring this right over here. The blending mode is set to normal. But if I take this blending mode, I just want to make sure it's still on the screen. If I take this blending mode and bring it all the way down here to color, there we go. You could even go to hue, but that's going to bring in some saturation. I recommend going to color, boom, and hit OK. So now you can see the blending mode is set to color. If I make this visible and invisible, it's going to color in that area. OK, so now I'm just going to keep sampling to make sure I get the right color here. And I'm going to just paint this in right over top of my subject's hair. There we go. And this is looking really, really good. All right. So we're painting this over top of my subject's hair. But 
it's kind of hard to tell here. But like if I paint this out here, okay, let me just grab like a different color. Let me just grab the color of our subject's lips. If I paint this with this color, because this is just a regular layer set to color blending mode. It's not even attached to my subject right now. So it's going to it's going to color my subject and it's going to color whatever's like behind it, right? Let's just hit undo a couple times. So what I need to do is you can see it right here. It's starting it, it's kind of difficult to see, but here, I'll just do this so you can really see what we're what we're working with now. Okay, so this layer is basically just set to color, right? Now, it's visible over top of our subject, but it's also visible on top of our concrete. So what I want to do is I want to turn this layer into a clipping mask. And when I do that, it's going to make it only visible where my subject is visible. And that's the real key. So make this layer visible only where the subject is visible. Okay, so it's really, it's really easy to do. Just go up here to layer and then down here to create clipping mask. Boom. And as soon as I did that, as soon as I made the create clipping mask, now you can see it's visible only where my subject is. Okay. Option command G is the keyboard for keyboard shortcut for clear to clipping mask, or it's going to be alt uh, control G. There we go. So unclipped and clipped, unclipped and clipped. Basically, you can see now it's affecting everything. And when I clip it, it bumps it over to the right hand side. Got a down arrow. It's only going to affect my subject. All right. Now I'm just going to erase this area here where I painted that red because I really don't want it to be red. But I just kind of wanted to like give you the example of like literally I can just grab whatever color I want and start to paint this over top of my subject. And it's going to color that area with this color. So I'm literally just recoloring my subjects uh, like the fringes of my subjects hair on a new layer. Now I can just turn this layer off. There we go. And we can see this is just the original. There we go. Well, let's turn that back on and we can see we recolored it. Now let's go to our layer mask and I'm just going to do, I'm going to paint with black on our layer mask right here. Just to do a tiny bit of cleanup to make sure that our edges still look good. There we go. Fantastic. And let's go ahead and just paint in right down here with this color as well. Cause I don't want that red color there in the background. And we're just going to go right up here to the very edge of our subject fantastic and that's looking really really good okay so we just did some really cool stuff we selected our subject's hair and then we painted on our layer mask to add more hair and then i'm literally just recoloring this as we wanted to so these clipping masks are really important again just keep in mind this is if i just set this layer blend mode back from uh just to a normal blend mode this is what it looks like okay i'm literally just painting with you know, a color that I grabbed from her hair. Okay, it's just like paint right there. But because this is set all the way down, we're going to just uh, change this from normal to color. Okay, it's just going to color our subjects here. Pretty cool. Okay, so now here we're at the very edge, we got one more thing we want to take care of. So let's create a new layer down here. And this time I want to clip this again. So we're going to go to layer down to create clipping mask, boom, it's going to bump it over. Okay, it's also only going to be visible where our subject is visible. Okay. And this time we're going to hit S for the clone stamp tool. And I'm going to clone stamp some of this internal stuff over to the outside. Okay. So you can definitely just use your brush tool and set your layer to color or you can clone stamp. So our sample is set to current and below. You don't want current layer because there's nothing on this layer. Current and below. Okay. I'm going to hold alt or option and sample right there and like, literally just clone stamp out to the edge there. Look at that. Okay. And because this is clipped, it literally, you know, it's only showing up where my subjects are showing up. You can still use your brush tool. Like if you just have black, you can just use your brush tool and kind of just paint black right there all the way towards the edge. And then I'm going to hit S for my clone stamp tool and then just go right to the edge here. So look at this color fringe that I'm getting away completely. I'm, I'm just ensuring that, you know, this beautiful white color goes all the way to the very edge here. There we go. And I'm clone stamping it, right? So it's also bringing in the texture as well. It's not just the color, it's bringing in the texture. And as I scroll around, like we have a really, like pretty perfect selection kind of all the way around our subject. So let's go ahead and just turn this layer off and on. So you can see what that did. Okay, you can see it right over here. Just turn that off and on, fantastic. This layer again here, keep in mind it's set to color. It's just this black color over top of our subject that's recoloring her hair. 
And then, of course, with our layer mask, we did a lot of work. We refined that edge and then we painted that in. But look at this final result, okay? Like this is what we would get straight out of, you know, select subject with all this stuff in here. But now with these couple of layers here that are clipped, one set to color, just the other set to normal, we're able to get a perfect selection and our subject is perfectly blended into their new background. No matter how far you zoom in, you're not going to see any of that red because we completely got rid of it. All right, there we go. I know it's a little bit much, but we did some really cool stuff in today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up on YouTube. That's a real big help. Also, let me know in a comment down below. What do you want to learn next? And if you want to get more free videos, click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone. Thank you.